many people suffering from some sort of cardiovascular disease do you know? How many have you lost due to heart attacks and stroke? I'm sure we can all name a few and still be shocked by the fact that 18 million people each year die due to cardiovascular disease. Now, what if I could tell you that there is a way to prevent this? Furthermore, what if I could tell you that this substance already exists? About 30 years ago, scientists found that there is a seasonality in patients suffering from cardiovascular disease. Namely, they found that patients had lower vitamin D levels in winter. And this was the first time that they suspected that vitamin D might have a role in cardiovascular system. Up to this point, it was all about bone and bone disease and prevention and treatment. And now it, a new player emerged in this huge field. So we want to investigate how exactly does vitamin D exert its, its beneficial effects. So you cannot do this in humans because it would be highly unethical to take people that are ill and use them in a study and keep them that way, not help them. But what you can do is use mice. Of course, uh, using animal models helps you mimic conditions from humans and you also maintain their, their welfare, of course. How do you do it? Well, in my thesis, we decided to uh, create a genetically modified model of uh, vitamin D uh, knockouts. What does this mean? So we, de we deleted vitamin D receptor from the heart and from the vessels. Vitamin D receptor is crucial in vitamin D um, metabolism. So you get your vitamin D from food or from uh, sunshine or uh, from your supplements and then it goes through multiple processes before it can get to its active form. Only when it binds to this vitamin D receptor that we deleted can it exert its effects. And if you delete the receptor, there is no effect. So this is how we mimic the conditions. And this is what allows us to look at the pathophysiological processes underlying cardiovascular diseases. Um, so far, we have had really compelling evidence and I hope that this evidence will be used in the future in development of therapeutic targets um, for treatment, for prevention of cardiovascular disease as the number one cause of mortality worldwide.